what's the sort of reaction you get from people on the streets when you drive your bus? Can't go nowhere in peace. When I park anywhere about the place, there's a picture. Fan favorite, man. Kids, big people, old people, everybody. Fan favorite. Your business is barbershop. How do you mix cutting hair and sports together? I get the idea from somewhere when I go overseas a couple of years ago where I go to a shop where you have the barber shop, you have the clothing area, and you have a lot of TV going around because you know when it, there's a lot of sports talking when, it, when, it, when you're at a barber shop you know, so that's where the concept comes out. Sports barber shop go together. So I used to be at a barber shop when I was a little bit younger because my mother used to be like um, a janitor at a barber shop, a couple of barber shops in town. So that's where I, I get my love from be um, at a barber shop so it's like in me growing up you know and the sports I get my sports from um, going at a youth club at a youth club we usually play all kind of sports football cricket everything so that's where the sports come from you know and what's the, the vibe like at a barber shop during the World Cup so far it's crazy man I can't tell her especially the, the side of government yesterday I'm not gonna say the name but when them is playing on my side and certain Remember time, take a while guess you're talking about Brazil don't it yeah so your barber shop was full yesterday with Brazilian fans what? When I'm a player, man, problem. As I can, as I can see on social media and everything, the whole watch of people them support the business and they can come forward to watch a match and while getting the haircut. And especially the kids, kids love it a lot. This is my lovely Argentina boss. As I can see, I'm a big fan of Argentina and fully Argentina. We say. What's the sort of reaction you get from people on the streets when you drive your bus? Can't go nowhere in peace. When I park anywhere about the place, it's a picture. Fan favorite, man. Kids, big people, old people, everybody, fan favorite. Are you surprised with this other reaction? Um, at the time when I, when I said I was going to wrap it in full Argentina, I was like, you know, if I wrap it in full Argentina, I'm going to send an Argentina match. So I know exactly what I was doing, but not with the reaction of the world. You know, the whole social media thing and take over all the place. So I know exactly what I was doing. In that department. Messi definitely can do, do more now. What we need to do is that when the team is not, things are not going his way, you need to, because he always have his head down, you need to hold up and band the team together. Because everybody in Argentina look to Messi to pull through. So I think he needs to show more, um, what do you call it? Not say leadership, you know, but band with the team when it's not going their way. And we we'll definitely win at the 18th. We, we see some tough matches so far, you know, France, England, um, Morocco, Portugal. I mean, which one of the two you would prefer to face in the final? Definitely. If we, reach, if we reach the final. If we reach the final, which I'm going to reach the final. I would prefer to reach France, because they're the one that knocked us out the last World Cup. What going to happen if Argentina don't win the World Cup? That's the question we keep getting everywhere we go. It's a confidence, you know, man. It's a confidence cause for me to wrap this in Argentina. I'm going all the way. So what makes you going all the way? about Argentina before the World Cup to so do all of this? All right, honestly, I see how the team is having a band, you know. I see when the international break over the summer, all of the Argentina fans, they were in some European country on a vacation together. A lot of the Argentina players together. I'm saying, you know what they're doing? They're building a band from there. And that's when I say, yo, this year, it's my year and Argentina year.